In this video, we're going to take a look at the new version of ASM, version 7.5, and how we can use templates and automation to provision Citrix Zen Desktop. ASM allows you to unify your environment, including your existing investments, by giving you the ability to quickly discover your environment, define your best practices as templates and orchestrations that you can then deploy in a repeatable and rapid fashion to be able to improve the quality and the efficiency of your IT infrastructure. And then ongoing maintenance of scaling workloads or managing the life cycle of those workloads and being able to evolve your environment as needs change. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into ASM and start looking at the demo environment. Now we're on the dashboard screen and we can see the discovered infrastructure, the state of that infrastructure, and if there's any critical messages going on. I can jump down to the resources tab and see what's in my environment. So we see here that we have a couple of Cisco blades and some Dell blades as well inside of my environment. And if I look at server pools, I see that I've created a pool for the Dell servers and for the Cisco servers so that I can target them specifically with templates when I need to do a deployment. Then when I jump over to the templates tab, we see that we have two templates in the environment, a VMware cluster template that deploys the hypervisor itself, and then a Citrix Zen desktop template for a thousand users that actually leverages that VMware cluster environment. So now when I drill into the template, I can see that I've got two nodes in my environment that are part of the VDI management cluster, and then I have a number of nodes in the bottom that are part of the VDI desktop hosting infrastructure itself. And if I click on one of the clusters, I can see the details on the right here of how many servers and what types of servers, the type of resources that are going to be assigned, as well in the virtual machines themselves, the virtual resources that are being de defined as part of this template. And I can do that on all of the different pieces inside of this template to make sure this template's going to meet my needs. Once I'm sure, I click deploy, and it takes me through this deploy wizard where I can define the name of my service, tweak some of the settings. They've all been defined as a default from my architect, but he might have enabled me to have a drop down to change something like the desktop profile that we see here or the number of hosts that are going to be provisioned. So when I click deploy now, that's really all I have to do as an administrator and ASM takes off and starts its orchestration. So we see here in this view of the service that's being deployed, it tells us the total number of resources that are going to be provisioned. And on the right, there's an activity panel that's keeping me up to date of where it is in the progress of provisioning this service. So it's jumped through quite a few steps right away that are instantaneously done. But now we're going to jump over and look at one of the Dell servers and one of the Cisco servers in the environment and see what's actually happening behind the scenes. So from the user interface, it's going to continue to go down those different steps and the tasks as it goes through the process. And for an actual end user, that's really all that they're going to need to be able to see. But looking behind the scenes to see what ASM is automating, we've seen that it's booted all of the bare metal servers that were called for within that template. And it's starting the process of doing an automated installation of VMware ESX. So all of those servers are going to go through a series of reboots and a series of configuration steps as they go through the process and get them configured into a cluster. And we'll see some more of that in a minute. So this is something that you can do manually and people do manually today. But the benefit of using a tool like ASM is I can take something that when we tested in a lab, deploying a four node ESX cluster was over 575 steps to configure it, to deploy it, to get it up and running. And we're doing multiple clusters in this template. So by any count, however many steps it takes before, what we're taking it down to is those handful of steps that we did earlier in the video when we saw just a couple of clicks to select a template and to start the process of it being provisioned. And that's all I have to do from an effort point of view. And I can go work on other high priority tasks that are on my plate while ASM automates and manages these steps that I would traditionally have to sit in front of the console and hit F2 and hit F11 and hit different keys at the right time to be ready to keep the process running along. So I've obviously I'm running this a little bit faster than it would go in real life. So as we go through this quickly, the, the ESX hosts are about finished deploying and we jump over to vCenter and we see that they're starting to be added into vCenter itself. This is also automated through the ASM template. So we created a data center called Dell World Demo 
and we created a cluster called VDI management that we've added two hosts to. And any minute now, the other hosts are going to start coming in that are the, the VDI hosts themselves to host the desktops for the actual users. And as they start being added and go into and out of maintenance mode and doing all of the tasks that they need to do to uh, accomplish the task of getting the cluster up and running, again, this is all being automated and all being done in a standardized way. And as anyone who works with clusters knows, the standardization is what's really impor important with clustering. So now the VMs themselves have started to be created. So I opened up one of the virtual machines and we see now that it's starting a, a Pixie and on, uh, a web install of Microsoft Windows 2012. Since we're deploying Citrix and desktop, we're going to need a handful of Windows VMs to be able to do the different roles for Citrix and desktop, like running the desktop controller and the licensing server and the front end and those types of things. So it's going to go through, similar to with ESX, it's going to go through an automated installation of Microsoft Windows, again, completely hands-free, completely automated, and it's going to do all of the settings for Windows that are needing to be done to get the Windows environment up and running. So this could be done for any number of virtual machines. In this case, we're doing three virtual machines that are a, a management cluster. But this could be Windows or Linux virtual machines. It could be one or many virtual machines in a very simple topology or a very complex multi-tier web app database type uh, environment. It could really do any of those things. And that's what gets defined in the template at the, the beginning of the process. And as I mentioned earlier, that's really where the value comes in, because a lot of work gets done on creating those standards and those best practices. And now we know that we can always follow them the same way every time through a template and through automation. So now we see that ASM has completed the task and we see the orchestration steps have gone all the way to the end where it says completed Citrix and desktop. So we know that everything's up and running and my service is ready for my application guys to start using. So I'm gonna jump back over to vCenter and open up one of the virtual machines and log in just to show you that not only was Microsoft Windows deployed, but actually the Citrix and desktop uh, information itself has been provisioned inside of this environment. So now we have a, a ready to go Citrix Zen desktop deployment. This is just one example of the types of things you can do with ASM version 7.5. For more information, you can visit our website at www.dell.com/ci.